Hello everyone, welcome to the channel for everything Arsenal and everything football. Thanks for being here. I hope you're all doing well. And in today's news, we are going to talk about Danny Sabayas. And it's not the best of news because this is one player that I really wanted us to sign or complete his signing or make his signing permanent. He did really well for us after lockdown. So many games, um, he played well. Sheffield United away from home in the FA Cup quarterfinal. He was the reason why he won that game, scored in the 91st minute. Some games against... um. In the Premier League against uh, Watford, against, um, I think it was um, Wolves. He played very well in most of those games. So it's not the best of news uh, seeing him training with Real Madrid. It looks like Arsenal and Real Madrid didn't come to an agreement for that deal. Um, a couple of months ago, maybe a month ago, Real were asking for like 35 to 40 million pounds. Arsenal were only offering like 25. And um, that is one reason I usually don't like loan deals. The thing with loan deals is that if you get a player and it does poorly, you just get rid of him and it's just a wasted year. But the, the most um, annoying thing is that if you get a player and it does well, you, you, still don't, uh, you still don't own him and the parent club has... Um, can ask from, uh, for anything from you. They can ask for 60 million pounds, they can ask for 100 million pounds, especially if it does well at your club, they have that um, opportunity to try and suck you off completely. So even if um, Sabas was worth 5 million back in March, after those performances, they can actually ask for 70 million. And as we know, Arsenal is not going to pay that kind of money. There was also rumors um, a month ago about Sabayos, um joining Real Betis's um, childhood club there was also rumors of um, real madrid offering chelsea sabios for kante and a bit of money but the thing is i still really want him you know why because i've, I've tried making so many predicted lineups in fact I'll, I'll link one in the description right now um and every time i talk about our midfield i realize how short we are if we play a back four I only suppose you can have Shaka and I don't know who else can play in the middle. If we put uh, Luis there, it's too defensive. If we put Torreira there, it's too defensive. If we put El Neni there, it's too defensive. If we put um, Niles there, mm, I guess it can, it can work. But in terms of creativity, does Niles really have that creativity? I don't think so. So Sabayos was doing that job that Cazola used to do when he was playing next to Coquelin. Um, he was doing that job that Fabregas used to do when he was playing next to Flamini. So not having someone like that in the team will really, really cost us. Like, I'm telling you, like, I cannot find anyone who can partner Shaka in the middle and create for us chances. Um, let me know in the comment section, do you think William can play in the middle with Shaka? Do you think if we play like a back five and then we have, um, like, say, um, three, four, three or something like that, you have five um five three two and then you have like someone like um obameyang and uh, lacazette and pepe up front as the three and then in the middle you have shaka with william do you think that can work for us or do you think william is not really um a creative midfielder from you know we need someone who can create from the midfield you can't just have two defensive midfielders there unless you're playing away to city or away to real madrid that's the thing but the news emerging today the pictures emerging today are for danny sabayo's training with real madrid not a good thing for us, but we definitely need to get a couple of midfielders. We are very short in the middle. No one to create from the middle of the pitch. So I don't know. I don't really know. I would have loved to get him if it was like 30 million. But if we can't um, we can't uh, complete a deal for him, then we, start, we really need to start looking for a midfielder. And I really hope we start looking for a midfielder very, very soon. As I've said in my previous videos, I usually don't like when um, we wait for like the season to go like like one month into the season when you've already lost three out of four games that's when we panic and start buying players when you're already nine points adrift i don't like that let's complete our deals right now and um be ready for the start against fulham but as of now danny sabaya seems to be staying at real madrid we are very short in midfield let's try and get anyone else let me know in the comment section also who else would you try and get in midfield to partner shaka apart from thomas party i want a really really good creative midfield in that midfield with Shaq and then have the likes of Pepe and William in front of them. Like these teams like West Ham and Southampton at home, we need to go strong attacking wise. So let me know in the comment section. Um more videos coming soon. Thanks for watching again. Keep staying safe and I'll catch up with you guys later.